Welcome to my channel, my name is Emily and today I'm going to be doing the ranking and reviewing of the Tomorrow series by John Marsden. So I read this series throughout like the last half of the year, I think I finished it in about December and I started it in about August I think, so I read about two two to one book books a month I think so well maybe I started in September I can't really remember from filming this I've read them a little bit ago and I've read plenty of books between that now I can't even remember what each book is about I kind of remember the first three and then after the first three uh, it's all one massive blur in all honesty like literally I would probably rank the last four books in the series which is Darkness Be My Friend, Burning for Revenge, The Nice for Hunting, and The Other Side of Dawn. Literally, and the bottom. Like, I think they're all, like, equal. Just because, like, honestly, I could not tell you what happened in each book. I think the fourth one, they started in New Zealand. And, yeah. And then the last one, like, they kind of concluded to see, like, Ellie and Homer and... I think they as well, they're all in, um, they're still in the hometown, I think it's Riri Wall? I can't remember it, but yeah. So they're all still in the hometown and then Kevin and Lee have like left. Yeah, so like pretty much, and between that is pretty much they adopt kids and they fight like gorillas. So that's that on that. <laughs> Like, there's, there was nothing really, like, not good, but, like, it just felt very, like, stale in those books, thinking back on them. And I kind of think I should probably downstar them, because I didn't rank them all four stars, because Corpile said, well, not said, but told me to rank them how I did. But pretty much, like, was rounded up to four stars, where I could have, yeah, it wasn't the best. Yeah, and I just honestly cannot really remember what, like, happened in those last four books. Because it was pretty much a bunch of fighting, Ellie getting all weird about Lee's feelings, and yeah, that's all I can really remember, and uh, them adopting the kids, particularly Gavin. But yeah. See, like, that's the thing, like, I can't really remember it, so it's not obviously re that rememberable. Whereas, like the first three they were like solid books like if they stick stuck it to like a trilogy and you like kind of never knew like you just hope that they survived in New Zealand for the rest of this like of the war like that would have been better than what we got in all honesty um so I'm gonna rank the first three which is pretty much all in order anyway but whatever so the third so in number three I put the third day of the frost or some titles call it the killing frost I'm not sure the one I read was the third day of the frost and this one they go they kind of like start to give up they've lost it's like about six months I think into the war three to six months into the war they're starting to lose hope they've already lost two of their members they're you know yeah, so they ended up like giving up and the last half of the book is pretty much them getting um getting captive, like getting rounded up and put into prison and pretty much Homer and Ellie ended up getting um like death sentences. So they pretty much were executed to be killed on one day, but that was the day that New Zealand decided to do an airstrike and pretty much strike down the prison so a lot of people were able to get out and Robin sadly lost her life in that one and yeah that was um, a little sad but yeah it was, it was a sad like ending I was like very sad thinking about it and like how she just sacrificed herself to make sure the rest were able to live on which they did which is really good and 
yeah, it was, it was really nice, like, ending that one. Yeah. And they all got to New Zealand, and I'd like to just think that they just stayed in New Zealand for the rest of the war, but no, obviously, they needed gorillas um, to win the war. So in number two, I picked The Dead of Night, which... Honestly, like, not much really happened. They meet Major Harvey, which was, is obviously a big, in big antagonist in the third book, as well as it kind of becomes in the second book, when in the third book he becomes an antagonist. Um, and, like, you meet him, you get to know him in that situation. Um, you, what else do you get to know in this book? You, uh, yeah, and then Chris... Um, sadly passes and uh, it wasn't even a product of war which makes it sadder because he was drink driving and rolled the car so that was really sad to find out at the end like I knew he kind of died because I spoiled it for myself I googled it so <laughs> yeah but it, Google didn't actually tell me how that he died and he's just like non existent I'm like well he was wasn't that big of a character so I'm assuming that he died yeah, and they did a bit more guerrilla action as well. Can't really remember the guerrilla action. There was just a lot of boom, explosive, boom, boom. That's pretty much all they did, in all honesty. And yeah, so in number one, I have Tomorrow When the War Be, which is the first book in the series, which obviously, usually, the first books in the series are the favourites for me because they're the ones that get you into the series to begin with. And I honestly did enjoy the first book. Like, I was, like, keen to get into it, see, like, what happens and everything. And I think I was very disappointed from what I got out of the book. But, yeah, it was pretty much just the start of the war and how they, you know, were able to escape being captive. The first, you know, captive with the rest of the town. And, yeah, it was a very moving story. And I like enjoyed that first book like reading the first book on its own was really good I yeah it was really sad about Corey kind of like that first little bit about Corey it's like kind of like that thing where it's like oh you know main characters usually don't die and Corey was a main character in the first book and it's like you know they don't die like they don't die they can't die and it was sad to find out I think it was like the fifth book or the sixth book she ends up dying or like they found out she died more accurately. She died, I think, a couple of months beforehand. But yeah, it was really sad to find that out. But and yeah, it was like, oh no, they killed off the main characters. Like, who they're so you're gonna kill. But you can kind of tell they obviously didn't kill Ellie because it was from her perspective, the whole books, and like how that she was writing them collectively as she was getting through, through the war. So like obviously she collected them all and like kind of, alluded to the fact that they kind of published it so there's that so overall as a whole like it's a good series i would say like you know read as much as you want from it if you want to start reading it i'd highly recommend actually reading at least the first book it was pretty good that's you know all i can really say about that one watch the film if you want to like if you don't like reading about war you'd rather watch a film like watch the film don't watch the tv show version of it it wasn't that good, like, well, I mean, like, it w wasn't that bad, but still, like, even the, the whole story with the TV show just didn't really make sense, and kind of just had, like, a lot of loopholes and trying to make story out of what wasn't there and everything, so that was a bit annoying, and the accuracy as well, like, I finished, for, I, I watched all of it, and I didn't really like the accuracy of it, but... I suppose that's what you get for reading the book, but then at the same time, yeah. Um, but yeah, the movie is more accurate to the book, though the acting can be quite hit and miss in that film, and that's why it didn't go very well. But anyway, so that's options there too if you do not want to read the books. Yeah, I'm going to leave it there. This was a quick kind of wrap-up series review. I honestly cannot really remember it and I didn't really write any thoughts down other than on my Goodreads reviews which you can check down below with all my other socials. Uh, hit a like, uh, comment, any other series you would recommend, I don't know. I am trying in the middle of like 100 series right now, not really 100 but 
I'm in the middle of Game of Thrones and the Green Gables, um, the Keeper of the Lost Cities, Skullduggery, I think that's about it. So like five series I'm in the middle of and oh and um, the Illuminate Files, I forgot about that one. I'm in the middle of that one, like literally like in the middle book. So that's fun and so hopefully I'll do videos ranking those ones and reviewing those series soon but I don't know when I will get to those because it will be a while probably. And yeah, that's it for me today and I'll see you next time.